everybody, I'm Ashlyn Cagino from the My Best Self Project and welcome to your daily Tyroscope forecast for Wednesday the 30th of May. So let's have a look at our cards for today. We have the Three of Earth, the Ten of Fire, and Seven of Fire, okay? The energy today is feisty. A uh, quick overview of this energy. Um, it looks like, though, there's something you're working really hard at. Um, and it's saying you can succeed at it, though you may just really need to really um, buckle down, navigate through the stress, ask for help when you need, um, but continue forward courageously. So <laughs> let's have a look and dig in. Three of Earth. It says the power of creativity, recognition for very high quality work, be a team player. So this card is all about being on a journey of doing something you're really passionate about. This isn't like some kind of work that you don't enjoy. This is something that like some kind of idea you've had, whether it's starting a business, um, launching some kind of products or you're uh, something in your career. But basically it's saying you're working really hard at something that you want to achieve. And it's saying you can have success here. You can, okay? It's not all gonna be easy. It's gonna be full of ups and downs, but it's saying that success is ahead of you and to not give up. However, with the Ten of Fire, it's suggesting that as a result, you may be very stressed out. It says here with this card, too much work except health from others. Life is out of balance, stress-related health concerns. So this card is stress, 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 just too much going on, too much work. And so even though it seems you're very dedicated to some kind of project or something <laughs> creative that you're really um, passionate about, it's like you're going to burn yourself out. You need to find a way to like organize or balance things out so you're not going to like try to hold everything up and then collapse you need to delegate you need to ask for help so it's saying you can't do this all alone okay this is something you're very dedicated to but try not to lose your balance of everything else at the same time try to like balance the family life and even it actually feels like right now you may have to do a little bit of sacrifice in that department maybe you can't dedicate yourself 100% to doing all the family things or you can't dedicate yourself to like keeping up with the social life yes maybe some things need to be sacrificed in the short term which is okay if you have that long term goal and you're dedicated to going towards it however this is a bit more than that this is like you're not even having time to breathe that's how it feels and it's just saying this can be a very stressful day for you to navigate through it you truly need to like delegate let people know look this is what's going on today I really need your support I really need to knuckle down and get this done maybe there's some kind of deadline or something but whatever it is let everyone know what's going on so you have their support and even you may see them step up and try to help out in other ways or if they don't just ask this is really what's saying ask for that help today because you might kind of lose your shit without it now with the seven of fire, it's saying de defend your beliefs and decisions, stand your ground, choose your battles wisely. So this is not the day to get into fights though, because it's not going to help you. It's not going to help the others involved in this situation either, okay? They can feel your stress. They know you're stressed. Don't take it out on them either, okay? If you do get challenged by them and they're like, look, why are you doing something that's requiring so much of you? Can you give me mommy? Yeah, can you give me some water, please? Thank you. Sorry guys, I'm coughing a lot. And so this is saying lovingly express why you're doing this and maybe you're doing this for your family or for what you want to achieve and let them know it's saying stand your ground and defend why you're doing this. Um, but again, get them on board. It's not the day to pick a fight or rub people up the wrong way or let them rub you the wrong way either. Everyone get on board and do this together though. Continue forward with your courage, stand your ground, but get them all on board by you speaking your truth. And that's really coming up here with the throat chakra. Thank you so much, baby. So we have your angel message of the day, throat chakra, and it's saying exactly the same thing here. It's saying the angels are helping you lovingly speak your truth. It's saying it's so important today to stand your ground, to speak your truth, but oh my God, in a loving way. No fights, okay? You cannot afford that energy today. If you want people on your side and you want people to help, it really, really needs to be you're speaking your truth and why I'm doing this, but from that place of love. And that's coming out so strongly here, isn't it? Okay, and you want to pick the last card up? There you go. Turn it to the camera and hold it there. So it says, your affirmation of the day, instead of praying for an outcome, I pray for the highest good of all. And that's exactly what this is about. Yes, you are dedicated to what you're trying to achieve, but ultimately, this is if 
everything that we're trying to do is ultimately for us and our family and for the happiness of our family, right? And so even though you may be sacrificing and working hard, it's saying stop like putting your affirmations, your intentions and your prayers out just involving you. At the end of the day, this is for the collective, for all of you. So pray for the highest good of everyone and therefore keep the peace and get everyone on your side. Okay, everybody, I hope you enjoyed today's taroscope. Please like, share, tag a friend or subscribe. And I look forward to bringing your taroscope tomorrow. Bye. Bye.